is grapher and we're going to start with an equation uh, find the derivative and then integrate it and double check to see whether we got back to the same spot I'm going to add an equation and this is going to be 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x plus 5 and I'm going to select that one and I'm going to use the inspector to change the color for reference to green. And I'm also going to make it a little bit thicker. Okay, I'm going to take that equation, copy it, add a new equation and paste the equation in. And of course that should match but now I'm going to select this second equation and I'm going to find the derivative and of course that's what it should look like and we're going to also enter it manually and if we would enter the derivative manually we would have y equals 9x squared plus 8x minus 2. All right, so I'm going to take this check mark off so that's not visible and I'm going to look at this equation. All right, and now we're basically going to integrate this to try to get back to the green equations graph. So I'm going to copy this, add a new equation because I want to have a copy of the original as well as when I integrate paste that in. So now I have two equations the same. This second equation I'm going to select and I'm going to say equation in my drop down integrate. And of course there's our original in green and of course we lost the constant on the back end of it. So to get it to match up I'm going to again copy this completely choose to add a new equation, paste it, and then simply remember that the constant at the back of my equation was plus 5. And when I graph that, again I want to look at, I'm taking the check mark off here, and I want to look at this one, the original green equation, and the adjusted equation uh, that we now have here. And of course visually we see that in fact we have a matchup. Okay, this is Grapher and its ability to integrate. 